Hi, it's Jana here. My voice, as you can probably hear, is a little bit hoarse. I've spent a lot of hours and a lot of energy in the last basically two weeks as I've been launching a brand new course, this brand new course, Dashboard in a Day. It's basically Power BI for survey data. And I'm basically sending you this video because we're just about to close enrollment um, at the end of today for Dashboard in a Day. And I wanted to invite you, if you're still on the fence, if you haven't enrolled yet, I'd love you to consider to enroll. Um, I scribbled down a few notes uh, just because I was thinking, you know, I'm like prepping for everything. I'm prepping for the course to start on Friday. And there were a few things that I just wanted to share that I thought might be useful. Conversations that I've had with people since we've um, launched and since we've been uh, enrolling students that I thought might be helpful if you're still considering it. Um, yeah, first of all, it was just uh, this, this thought that, a lot of Power BI training out there, it is geared towards financial in the business world. And, you know, as much as we all love the business world, um, it isn't the same data and it's not structured the same. And so what I'm trying to bring in this course, and I think what's been so appreciated um, by prior students and my prior courses is that all the examples that we use are directly from our sector. We're using um you know, sector specific indicators and examples. My background is in humanitarian work. It's not in, you know, P Power BI and business for uh, data for business. Um, so that is kind of what our focus on. The other thing I thought was really interesting, like conversations that have come out, um, was just this idea of operational versus survey data. I don't know if this makes sense for you, but um, when we do a big survey, that's like a snapshot. It's it's data we don't collect very often. And it's a lot of work to analyze that data. It's also a lot of work to put it into a dashboard. And it's not always worth it. You know, it's not always worth doing a Power BI dashboard um, with your survey data. Um, the other side of the picture is operational data. When you have a lot of data coming in, um, you've got more automation set up around it. And then that can be really uh, useful for having a dashboard. What if you're somewhere in the middle? What if you've kind of got a semi-regular survey, a lot of data, but you want to try to, you know, dashboard it so you can share it more easily? And I think that's kind of where we're trying to get to in this course is figure out where do where do we need to use dashboards? Where do we just need to use Excel? Um, and how do you have the skills where you can pop into Power BI super easily and just um, get it done? So um, yeah, I thought that was a really other interesting thing that has kind of come out as I've tried to put language around these different types of data we really work with um, in information management or in M&E teams. The third thing was just... Um, yeah, as I kind of look at some of the students coming back in, what's really interesting is that um, some of them are repeat students. And I think that's really exciting because even in a small course where um, we're, we're brand new and we're just, you know, we're figuring it all out, um, we already have people that have learned with me before in prior courses. And they're like, yeah, I loved learning with you and I want to do it again. And so that's just been really encouraging, I think. And if you're wondering like, oh, I've never studied with Jana before. What's it going to be like? Um, I can't promise what it's going to be like, but I know that from um, those repeat students, they've it's made a big difference for them in their careers. And so, um, yeah, I just wanted to invite you. If you haven't learned with me before, this would be a really cool place to jump in and get to know um, one another. And then the other thing, uh, and this is the last little note that I jotted down before I jumped on camera, um, is just that um, there's so much skill, I think, and, and so many organizations kind of have this centralized approach to data management and data visualization. And um, really where we're trying to get to with this course, and, and one of the one of the people who will be joining um, Dashboard in today or has already joined, um, you know, he was mentioning, you know, how do we get more decentralized? Like, how do I, how do I, I'm used to working with data at kind of a global level. How do I make sure that those insights stay local? And someone else I was working with, who, have, who has a couple people joining from their organization just saying like, we're we're really decentralized. So we don't have, and we don't want these skills at our, at our head, head office. We actually want to build up these Power BI skills around the world in our various offices. And um, that is absolutely perfect. That's like my passion and where I've kind of come back, uh, come to like my background is basically this grassroots, like ground up. How do you really push, um, from the ground up and saying, these are the skills we need in our organization, but we're gonna build them up from country level, from program level, or from project level, um, whatever, wherever you're based, and say, this is what we wanna show the rest of the organization what we can do. Um, and so that whole kind of like balance um, between 
local level and global level. Um, and and I think both. We have we have students who are, are both of those levels who will be in the course and just um, in, improving and increasing the transparency and the communication and the skill level um, among all offices. No one's coming here um, knowing it all. We all come with our own backgrounds and we're all going to learn from one another. So anyway, I really would love you to join if you have considered it and you'd like to give it a go. This is my last call, basically. Um, it's been wonderful kind of having this launch, seeing how it's gone. Um, it'd be really cool to jump in with the students um, on Friday and kick off Dashboard in a day. And I'd love it if you are one of those people. Until then, and, um, and please do reach out if you want to be one of those people. Until then, I will see you. Bye.